Now, back in January, I visited Pier 9 in San Francisco, home to Autodesk's Creative Workshop, where artists and researchers let loose on CAD software and 3D printers to come up with some really amazing designs. Well, now it's time to meet one of those artists over at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles. I've trained as an architect and currently I'm doing my PhD in media arts, um, exploring uh, the relationship of human's body to the space around. I'm basically exploring this relationship by use of interactive technologies in two various scales. One of them is our near environment, which basically defines our garments or our clothing. On the other hand, I'm exploring that relationship to the space around in architecture scale, and I'm exploring how architecture can respond to human and, and to its users, basically. Caress of the Gaze is an interactive 3D printed outfit. It's basically exploring how our fashion can be a second skin. I really wanted to create something that it's become an extension of our actual skin. It's equipped with a camera. Uh, the camera is located here underneath the quilts and the camera can see your age, your gender and where you're looking at and based on wherever you're looking at it moves and responds ac accordingly. So someone is here, they're looking at the cape and the cape responds to their gaze. Yes. It's extension of your brain to your garment basically. That your garment thinks for you and, and perceive the words. Um, almost to the most subtle aspects of the social interaction, which is our gaze. We look at each other, and um, by looking at each other, we communicate meanings. We, we, sometimes our gaze can be intrusive, sometimes our gaze can be reassuring. In other words, if you can feel someone's gaze on your body, your perception of the world is going to be different. Synapse is a 3D printed interactive helmet that it moves and responds to the brain activity. When it goes higher, your attention level goes higher, the, the helmet opens up so you can actually pay attention to the world around you. And then as your attention level goes less, you basically this creates sort of cocoon around your head so you don't see the world. <laughs> The brain sensor is basically capture the information. It basically gather information on different various brain frequencies. Uh, then it sends the information related to your attention level to a microcontroller, which is again embedded inside. And those information can uh, control the uh, two small servos um, located on two sides of the uh, helmets. So basically, you map attention level to control servos outside the brain. Aurora is an interactive uh, ceiling installation which can seize people's underneath. It can seize your bodily movement and it can respond to that accordingly. Particularly, it uses uh, the ideas on embodied interaction. In other words, how our bodily movement, not just our tips of basically our fingers on the mobile phone can inform the interaction, but, but how our movements into the space can, can inform the, the motion of the environment. The ceiling um, has a computer vision, which is basically using a Kinect camera to see uh, people um, underneath. It sends those information to a series of microcontrollers in which they're controlling 15 different motors. And those motors, they can inform the motion of each of these nodes of actuation, basically. 